What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Blake's Take with me, Blake Neiman. And for the Beavers, there really is no place like home. With an undefeated record coming into Saturday for a huge matchup against the Stanford Cardinals. The Beavs took care of business in front of the amazing fan base, which I am a part of, to become bowl eligible for the first time since 2013. Getting to that sixth win has been something that has haunted the Beavers for the past few years up until now. Unlike the past couple of games, Oregon State scored on their opening possession and never trailed as Chance Nolan led the way, getting him and the rest of the offense back on track, completing 19 of 25 passes for 257 yards and two touchdowns. Defensively, the Beavers also drastically improved, forcing three turnovers and holding Stanford's offense to just 230 total yards of offense, the lowest yards allowed by the OSU defense against a Pac-12 opponent under head coach Jonathan Smith. Now, granted, Stanford was nowhere near being being at their best as they were down three of its top receivers and an unknown QB situation, they were down to their fifth string. The sixth win is incredible and don't get me wrong, should be glorified by this fan base who has suffered for so long. But now that the Beavers have clinched a bowl eligibility, they need to go and see and try and see what bowl they are going to be clinching. The Beavers are still hungry for more this season and they uh, still have a slim chance of clinching that Pac-12 North title. The Beavers must win their final two games and have Utah beat Oregon as well as Washington State drop one of its final two games against Arizona or Washington to make it a reality. I know it's very far-fetched, but you know, anything's possible, right? But congratulations once again to the Beavers fan base, including myself, who have suffered through the losing seasons, the come-up shorts, the blowouts, you name it. But now the Beavers are going bowling. How sweet it is. I am extremely glorified how long it's been since the Beavers made it to a bowl game. Heck, if you've been keeping up on Brandon Cooks, he's been in the NFL. The last time he the last time the Beavers made a bowl game was when he was still in college. So it's been a long time coming for these Beavers, but they're back in the bowl in bowling and potentially it could be in the Pac twelve North. I'm not saying it could happen. It would be it would I mean the Ducks, they would be knocked out of college football playoff contention, obviously, if Utah and us beat them. But, I mean, in a perfect world, the Ducks would make the playoff and we would make a bowl game. That would be a great scenario for both. But the Beavers always like to get rowdy and mess up the Ducks' season. And so the Ducks could likely get upset by the Beavers once again, going for back-to-back for the Beavers. Who knows? We are always upset hungry against the Ducks. It's one of those games where it doesn't matter how good the other opponent is. It's a rivalry game, and there's just a different attitude that comes. So we'll see what what happens when we get there. But as for now, congratulate the Beavers on their sixth win and keep up with all the rest of their season on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and or YouTube here at Blake's Take on the socials. Subscribe and like for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day.